Hi, good morning. This is Rachel with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. Um, I'm here back in the studio. We're still closed, but just wanted to check in with the space and stream from here this morning. Um, so if you're joining us today, this is going to be a gentle flow yoga class um, with Rachel Plain from Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. And we've been live streaming these classes for the past couple weeks. I think this is going on our third week, so um, it's been crazy. How are you guys doing? It's in just an insane time for everybody, so I hope that you're staying well and healthy and safe. Um, and I'm so glad to see that you guys are doing something good for yourselves to be home um, and practicing. So if you're just tuning in, welcome. This is Rachel with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and we're here at the studio. Hi, Emily. How are you? It's so good to see you. It's just like we're at the studio together, and Sarah's here, Patty's here, good morning. Does it feel like we're just in the studio right now? See, behind me, it's like nothing's really changed, except it's just me today, and you guys from home, I wish I could see you too. Um, so we're gonna get going in a little bit. So, hi Kathleen, good morning. Um, cool, so I'm so glad you guys are starting to tune in. Um, we're gonna keep streaming live. If you're on our email list, you might have seen that we just sent an email out with some information on how to check out all of our classes. Uh, good morning, Helen. We have um, a bunch of great classes. Uh, closest thing to it I could hope for. This is so awesome. You guys are so great. Yeah, this is like totally pushing my edge to be doing this live stream, but um, here we are. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Um, cool, so yeah. Hi, Abby, good morning. So yes, if you're just tuning in, we're live streaming. I'm gonna start in just a minute or so. This is our gentle flow yoga class that we usually do at 9 a.m. at the studio. It's so good to see you guys too. Um, and if you're not on our email list yet, hi Melissa, this is so fun. I feel like I'm just here with all the people that I miss and love so much. This is so awesome to have you guys here. It's just like you're here in the studio. Good morning, Abby. This is so great. Thanks for joining us. So um, for more information about our classes, you could check out the email that we just sent. So if you're on our mailing list, just go check your um, inbox or check your other folders and make sure that you got our email. It has a full list of um, all the classes that we're streaming. We're doing some live streams on Facebook. We're doing a bunch of uh, pre-recorded videos uploaded to YouTube. All of these live streams will eventually go from Facebook up onto YouTube and they'll also live under the video section of our Facebook page so you can access these um, anytime you want. And there's lots of other great teachers that are offering classes. If you go to our website right now and you click on the top under virtual schedule, there's a whole long list of everything that we're offering um, and who's offering it and how to get to it and how to see it. And um, that's the best place to check. And again, that email that just went out, check that. If you're not on our email list yet, you can go to our Facebook page, just scroll down the home page, and you'll see a post of our most recent email that has lots of great information about how to get to our YouTube videos, how to get to our Facebook videos. Oh, my mom's watching. Hi, mom. My mom just got on Facebook. It's so exciting. I'm so glad you found us, mom. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see uh, where you can find us. You can also see our full virtual schedule. And we are offering these classes free of charge as a gift to our community during this crazy time. Um, so we're going to continue to do so. If you'd like to donate or support the studio, we just put up a page, supportbydf.com. Um, so you can visit supportbydf.com and you can make a donation to the studio if you'd like to help sustain us during this time that we're closed. Um, you could also make a donation to specific instructors. So if you're watching a class from a teacher and you want to donate for that class, there's an option to do that at well, as well. So you would just visit support bydf.com if you'd like to leave a donation for us. Um, but again, no donations are required, but they're very much appreciated. And thank you to everybody that sent in donations and support and love and comments and sharing and um, helping to keep us going. We're so glad to be here with you. So we're going to get started. Uh, so you can come onto your mat. Uh, you don't need any special props. I'm set up with a bolster and two blocks. So if you have a cushion or anything that you want to sit on, a bolster, you can have that. If you have blocks, you can have that too. You don't necessarily need anything. So there's just gather up whatever you want um, so you can feel comfortable. So we'll get going. Great. And if you're just tuning in, this is Rachel with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. We're here for our gentle flow yoga class that we usually do at the studio at 9 a.m. And so we're going to start with a centering. And we're going to do some breath work. We'll do a little meditation. 
and we'll go through a warm up and then some standing flow. So if you're just tuning in and if you've never joined us before, it's an hour long class. Uh, we'll go from nine to from now until about 10 o'clock and then we'll end in a nice relaxation at the end. So um, come into a comfortable seat on the ground, on a cushion, on your mat, on the floor, wherever you are, and welcome. I'm so glad that we're here in community and able to practice together still. So bring your hands down onto your lap, close your eyes, and just take a moment to tune in. So with your eyes closed, just take some time to just find a gentle rock forward and back or side to side. So hands are down on your lap, eyes are closed. starting to come into the space and come into your body. So letting go of all the craziness that's happening outside of yourself, outside of your safety of the living room or wherever you're practicing today, just taking this time to go inward, to take this important time out for yourself, to start to connect to your body mind, your heart. So just taking that gentle, gentle rock, so it's barely noticeable, just feeling the weight shift forward on the sit bones or back on the sit bones, eyes are closed, legs are crossed if it's comfortable, but if it's uncomfortable, they can be in any other variation. Palms are down, spine is long. And then we'll begin how we typically begin oftentimes in our live in-person class. If you've been practicing with me before, this will feel familiar. We're going to start with a few rounds of a letting go breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh. And do that again, a big breath in. Exhale, sigh. You're going to do that one more time. So you're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then last time, inhale through the nose and exhale through your mouth. That's your letting go breath. Take a breath in through the nose and just hold. As you exhale, round your back. Tuck your tail, scoop your belly, bring your chin to your chest. Pause there with the breath empty. Hold there. Take a deep breath in. And full breath out. As you inhale, float forward on the sit bones. Lift the belly. Lift the chest. Lift the throat. Lift the face. And as you exhale, round back. Tuck the tail. Scoop the belly. Inhale, foot forward in the sitting bones. Lift the belly, lift the chest, lift the throat, lift the face. And exhale, release, rounded back. So you're in a seated cat and cow pose. Eyes are closed. You're breathing in and out through your nose one more time. Inhale, open up. Exhale, release, back. And the next time that you inhale, lengthen your spine, shrug your shoulders up the way to your ears. Eyes could stay closed or soft gaze. Exhale, roll them back and down. And do that a couple times. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders droop. And then one more time. Big breath in to lift. And full breath out to release. On your next inhale, roll your palms open on the backs of the hands. Touch the lap. And as you exhale, drop your chin and pause there. And full exhale. The next time that you breathe in, bring your right ear over to the right shoulder. Open up the side of the neck or either side. Exhale, come back through center. And then go the other way. Bring the other ear to the other shoulder. Open up the neck and the face. And exhale through center. One more time each side. Ear to shoulder, open up the neck. Exhale through center. And then last time on the other side, ear to shoulder. And back through center. 
On your next inhale, lift the head up. You can keep the eyes closed. And breathe out where you are. Start to deepen the breath. Breathe into the lowest part of the belly, the middle part of the ribs, the upper part of the chest. Exhale, release the chest, release the ribs, release the belly, hold empty at the bottom. And then continue that. Inhale, belly, ribs, heart and chest all the way up. And exhale, release the chest, release the ribs, release the belly till you're empty at the bottom. And then continue that. You're coming into your dirga, three-part breath, if you've been following along on this virtual journey, we practice this over the past couple of weeks. If you practice with me in person, we practice this typically at the beginning of class. If you're just joining us, you're our gentle flow yoga class. We're here in our centering, just taking some time to drop into the space, to drop into ourselves, to land in our bodies, to cultivate peace, presence, awareness, and compassion. To find calm amongst the storm of anything that's happening outside of this moment right now. being a beacon of light and peace and grace. Tapping into that truest, highest, most aligned, peaceful version of yourself. As you inhale again, the low belly is expanding, the ribs are opening, the heart and chest is opening. As you exhale, the ribs are softening, Chest relaxing, belly softening. Three part your good breath. Good. And then the next time that you breathe in, bring the hands together to prayer position or Anjali Mudra. Let the palms touch. As you exhale, bow your head to yourself. Take a moment to come into intention if you'd like. So the intention could be whatever you're seeking from this practice whatever you might want to invite into your body, your mind, or your heart, something that you wish to manifest or create within yourself or within the community or the world. Perhaps an intention of peace, of health, of well-being, courage and strength, whatever it is for you, taking a moment to find that. And then as you inhale, slide your hands to the ceiling, lengthen the arms, you can lift the face, open the eyes, look up. Exhale, open the arms wide apart, stretch to the fingertips, bring the chin towards your chest. And then do that again, sweep high and wide all the way out above the head. And exhale, open wide, chin to chest, fingertips find the ground. One more time, thinking breath with movement, inhale up. And exhale, release. Just gonna find a nice, easy side bend. So as you inhale, the left arm out and up. Exhale, up and over to the right. You're gonna hold the first time. Take a deep breath in. And full breath out. As you inhale, come on up. As you exhale, other way, big stretch. You'll hold there, deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, come up. And exhale, switch. We'll just start to go one breath per movement, so you'll go at your own pace. Inhale, rise. And exhale, switch. Moving at your own pace, whether it's faster or slower than mine. You don't inhale to lift. Exhale, stretch. Continue that. The next time you come up, bring your hands behind you, drop your chin, interlace your fingers, and then press your fist down towards the ground. Squeeze the backs of the shoulders together, open up the chest, the heart, the throat, the face. As you exhale, release your gaze to the front, release the hands, lift the shoulders. If you want to open up the hips, you can take your hands.
that's behind you, pressing into the ground or anything you're sitting on, and then just lift the hips up, lift the chest up, lift the belly up, look up, and exhale, release back down. Let's do a little more work seated. So if you're in cross leg, just switch the cross of your legs so you just put the other leg in front. So we're still in the beginning part of our class, just warming up. Take a big sun breath. And as you exhale, you're going to open the arms and bring your left arm under your right arm. And then you bend your elbows. And you're going to create eagle arms. You have one arm hooked underneath. There could be space, or you could touch your thumb or your palms. Inhale, lift the elbows up. And exhale, round your back. Tuck the chin, drop the head, elbows towards the chest. Do that again. Inhale, lift the elbows up. And exhale, draw the elbows in. Just finding the breath, creating some movement mobility in the spine. One more time, inhale, lift the elbows up. And exhale, draw the elbows in. Good, inhale, lift the elbows to shoulder height. Long spine, release the arms. Big breath in the stretch. Let's interlace our fingers, all of them. Flip your palms up to the ceiling, look up. And exhale, stretch up and over the left, look up towards the ceiling. Inhale through center. Go the other way. Big stretch. Just waking up the spine. Inhale through center. Now exhale, release. You're going to take your right arm under your left arm. So sweep right arm under left arm. Cross pose. Bend the elbows. So one arm's hooked underneath. If there's room, you're going to connect. Touch your thumb or touch your palms. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Lift the face. And then exhale, drop the elbows down. Drop the chin. Elbows towards belly. Towards chest. Head drop. Again, inhale up, so it's like that cat and cow, but we have eagle arms. Exhale, round your back, tuck the tail, elbows in, head drop. One more time, pick it up. And exhale, release. And this last time, you're going to lift up, hold there, shoulders in line with, um, elbows in line with shoulders. Release, one more time, interlace all of your fingers above your head, and then flip your palms up to the ceiling, look up, and now this time press the palms forward, round your back again, big cat back. Inhale, high to the sky, you're going to breathe and hold the breath at the top, take a deep breath and pause, and exhale, press through. Good. This is going to be your last time to lift, and as you exhale, open the arms behind you. One last time, interlace your fingers, maybe the non-habitual way, press the fist down, squeeze the backs of the shoulders together, open up the heart, lift up, and exhale, release the gaze, roll the shoulders. Last time, you're going to take your hands behind you, lift the heart up, open the heart, maybe press the hips if you want, press them up, 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 and exhale, release. You're going to come to all fours, you can either come over the shins or unwind the legs. If you were sitting on anything, just move it away. Coming onto all fours, over the shins or unwinding the legs. So to be in tabletop, let's um, sit turn this way. You bring your hands a little further forward of your shoulders and start to circle your hips and start to swing the hips around. Big hip circle. Just to open up the hips and the back and the shoulders. And then let's bring the hips the other way, big circle. And then take it back to your wide knee child, so touch the big toes, separate the knees, stretch the arms forward, sink the hips back, release the forehead down, and then maybe take a little rock side to side. And then holding here, arms stretched long, let the palms touch. Maybe bend the elbows, forearms back to head, couple breaths, holding your child's pose. Extend the arms. Shift forward to tabletop, all fours. Bring the um, wrists right underneath the shoulders and the knees under the hips. And then start to wag the hips, left to right. So just a little wag the hips, side to side, back and forth. And we'll start to find some rotations. So you're going to stay there in your tabletop. We're just wagging our hips. And then from your tabletop, come to stillness with the hips right above the knees. Inhale the left arm out and up. Look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, thread it through halfway, so you're going to slide it through, bend the um, right elbow, dip the left shoulder, and 
then inhale, unwind. Lift it up to the ceiling. Look way up. Exhale, thread halfway through. We're moving nice and slow and easy. Good. Inhale, lift it up. Now, this time you're going to go all the way through. So go ahead. You keep going all the way through. And then when you get down, you're going to be on the edge of that head. So instead of collapsing onto the face, lengthen your neck and roll right onto the corner of the head. You're going to hold there. The um, right arm could be on the ground, or you could stretch it forward like a puppy pose and kind of peek underneath that arm. Or keep it where it is. Or lift it up to the ceiling. If you have it up to the ceiling, you could fold it behind your back by turning your thumb in, bending your elbow, letting the back of the hand touch the hip or the hip crease. And then maybe close the eyes and take just a few breaths. Feeling the breath move through the belly, the ribs, the heart and chest. Exhaling, relaxing the chest, the ribs and the low belly. If the arms folded behind the back, just go ahead and stretch it up. If it was reached forward in puppy pose, you're gonna slide it back down. If it was up in the air, bring it back down. And take a counter pose. So press into that bottom hand, the right hand, and sweep the, un the underneath arm, the left arm, all the way out and out. So look up. And exhale, release that hand. And you do the whole thing on the other side. So inhale, the right arm sweeps out. And exhale, the right arm threads through. And then bend the elbow, dip the shoulder, look to the side. Inhale, unwind all the way up, nice and easy and slow. Exhale, thread halfway through, bend the elbow, dip the shoulder. And one more time, inhale up. And exhale, come through. You're going to come all the way through this time, right? So bring the shoulder down, bring the head down, pause. Remember, we're on the edge of our head instead of swishing onto the side of our face. Our hips are right above our um, knees, so instead of letting them sway off to the left, hold them right above the knees. Hand that's touching the ground, that left arm, it could stay, or it could stretch forward like a puppy pose, or it could lift up to the ceiling. And then you could uh, internally rotate it. So flip your palm, turn your thumb, and then bend your elbow at the back of the hand, touch the hip or the hip crease, and maybe roll the head up a little more and close the eyes. And breathe. And maybe you're feeling a good stretch in the shoulder, nice rotation around the spine, ringing out. Anything you don't need, any stale energy, any thoughts or energy that's not serving you, letting that go. Breathing. Good. You've got that arm wrapped behind the back, just stretch it up to the ceiling. Whether it's up to the ceiling or stretch forward like puppy, you're going to place it down. And then press into your hand and unwind your body. Take that right arm all the way up. And exhale, release that hand back down. From here, curl your toes under. You're either going to take puppy or dog, depending on how you're feeling this morning. So if you want to keep it gentle, toes are curled under, hands walk out, and you melt the chest down. You can either bring the forehead or the chin to the mouth and hold. If you want to come up to dog, the wrists stay underneath the elbows, maybe just a little further forward of the shoulder. Curl the toes under and lift the head. And if you're in dog, feel free to pedal out. So just press one heel down. You can bend the other knee, press the other heel down. So walking the dog, pedaling out the dog. If one heel presses down, the opposite knee bends. Repeat that a couple times. If you're in puppy, you can stay still, just resting there for a moment. And then if we're making our way to our full expression of dog, take a moment to be still. Hand shoulder width, fingers spread wide, feet hip width, toes forward, heels back. And then just invite a bend into your knees and pull the hips up and back away from the ribs. Let the head hang for a moment and just feel all that traction in your spine. So the hands actively pressing and sliding forward like you're going to push the mat forward to the front of the room. And the hips are reaching way up and back to the back of the room, up to where the top of the wall would meet the ceiling. Take a few breaths. From here, gentle walk to the top of the mat. So whether you were in puppy or dog, you're just going to send your feet to your hands. And then have the feet hip width and give the head a shake, yes. And give the head a shake, no. And then let the head hang heavy. Take a shoulder roll up, back, and down a couple times. If it's uncomfortable being upside down, just bring your hands to your shins or your hands to your thighs for a flat back. If you're still upside down, grab opposite elbow and rag up and take a sway. 
relax. At the top, big sun breath. Inhale up. As you exhale, bring your thumb right between your eyebrows, that place of intuition or that third eye that we have. Take a deep breath into that place, that inner knowing. Exhale, bring your thumb to your heart center, connecting back to any intention that you created to get deep in knowing. And exhale, release your arms. Take a sun breath to the top, inhale out and up, interlace your fingers and release your pointer. Stretch up and over to the left in standing half moon or Ardha Chandrasana. You could turn your face up to the ceiling. Inhale through center, stretching the ribs, the waist, the intercostal muscles between the lower ribs, look up. Inhale through center. Exhale, release the hands behind you, interlace your fingers, drop the chin. Press the fist down, squeeze the backs of the shoulders together, open the chest and heart. And as you exhale, sit into steer pose. Bend the knees, bend the hips, and sit back. So it's like you're going to sit in a chair. So the knees are bent, the hips are bent. There's a long line from your hips to your head. If there's not enough space to interlace your fingers, hold your hips. It's like you're going to sit your bottom back into a chair. So instead of going straight down, your bottom's back. Diagonal line from hip to head. You're holding. Take a few breaths. Take another deep inhale. As you exhale, release your hands. Stand up into Dasana, mountain pose. You can stand tall. And as you exhale, bend your knees, hip swan dive. Open the arms and bend the knees. As you inhale, lengthen to flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, bring the hands to the chin bones and press the head away from the tail. Exhale to a deep fold over bent knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive to stand up. Press down into the ground, come all the way up, palms touch. And let your hands come straight to prayer. Close your eyes straight to prayer. Hold there. Reconnect to your breath. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, release your arms. Take another sun breath to the top. Inhale out and up. As you exhale, open the arms and catch your hips. You're just going to walk up to the top of the mat. So take a couple steps forward. Your feet are hip width. Step your right leg back just halfway. So instead of coming into that unpleasant lunge that we take a lot, we're just halfway. So both of our legs are straight. Our feet are hip width distance, toes are forward, heels are back, hips are square to the front of the room. You could hold your hips. You could hold opposite elbow. You could take a reverse prayer, it could look like this. So either hip, elbows, prayer. You're gonna hold. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, hinge at your hip, like there's a bar at your hip. You're gonna hinge up and over with a flat back. And then when there's no more room to go, maybe go a little deeper and round your back. So you go from that flat back to a little rounded spine. You're holding your hips, you're holding elbows, or you're holding reverse prayer. That back foot can be turned out a tiny bit in pyramid pose, so the toe could be out a little bit just to keep your balance. Holding here. And then we're gonna lengthen to come up, so push the head away from the tail all the way up to the stand, keep your balance if you can, and then release your hand position and interlace your fingers behind like we did in our warm-up. Press the fist down, squeeze the backs of the shoulders together, open up the chest, so that's your star gaze or pose. Release your gaze back to the front, lengthen your spine again, and swing the arms and legs out to the long edge of the mat. From here, bring your heels in and your toes out. Heels in and toes out. So the wrists are a little bit wider than the ankles. And then lift the arms up to where the wall would meet the ceiling and bend the knees and bend the hips. You're coming into goddess pose. Elbows are in line with your shoulders. Knees are right above the ankles. And then take a little rock here, side to side. Good. Maybe a little smile. It's opening up the heart and the chest. Good, holding here, sit down. Stretching the hips, building strength in your legs. Inhale, five-pointed star, stretch up. And exhale, sit. Good, do that again. Inhale, up. Exhale, sit. Increasing some blood flow and energy. Inhale, up. And exhale, sit. Hold the bottom. 
Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, take a hold of the legs. Take another breath. So just feeling those hips today. Good. And then pausing here. Take your um, right shoulder. Dip it down. Hold. You can look over to the side or over that left shoulder. A couple breaths. Good. Inhale. Unwind your center. Take the other shoulder down. Dip down. Little twist. Hold. Breathing. Pause. forward and the heels back. Bend your knees. You know, press off your thighs and roll up or lengthen up to come to a stand. At the top, take a big sun breath. Inhale out and up. As you exhale, open the arms to shoulder height. Wiggle your feet right underneath your wrists. So now it's a little bit of a wider stance. Turn the front foot forward, your left foot, so your heel is lined up with the arch of the back foot. Bend the front knee to warrior two, or Virabhadrasana two. And just to check our shoulders, Roll the palms open. So feel how your shoulder blades get onto your back there. Front knees above the front ankle, feet are grounded, and then keeping the shoulders where they are, just flip the hands again. So now you're back to warrior two, your Vajrasana two, look out over the front middle finger, take a deep breath in, and full breath out. As you inhale, let's take our reverse triangle, straighten the leg, back hand to back leg, top arm lifts, look up to top palm, your hand flips here. Exhale back to warrior two, palm flips down, front knee bends, look over front finger. Inhale, rise up, straighten the leg, stand back. And exhale, release, warrior two, your Vajrasana two. One more time, inhale up. And exhale, release, you're gonna hold warrior two. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, cartwheel down, the left arm goes to the ground or a block, the right arm goes to the ground or a block. You pivot on the ball of the back foot, so you're in a low lunge. And then drop that back knee and hold. So hands to hand blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks at home, you could use books, you could use couch cushions, you could use whatever you have nearby pillows. So hands are on the ground, block or books or any props that you have. You could bow your head to your car and hold. You could pat it with a blanket or anything you have nearby. Breathing into the head. A couple breaths here just to settle yourself down. Reconnecting to the breath, reconnecting to our body. Good. From here, come on the tips of your fingers. Lengthen your spine. You could stay or bring one hand to the top of the thigh. Bring the other hand to the top of the thigh, hands stack or interlace fingers, press that thigh forward so you can get the shoulders above your hips. You can stay there or release the hands and inhale, arms like Tadasana or mountain pose. As you exhale, open the arms, touch the ground or the block. So if you have blocks or you have any props, you might want to bring it with you. We're going to shift our hips back and bend our back knee and flex our front foot and then walk your hands back or your blocks or whatever you have handy. Get high on those fingertips or blocks, lengthen your spine, hold. And exhale, deep fold over the front leg. So you're in Ardha Hanumanasana, a half monkey pose. Breathing into the back of the leg, holding there. Good. From where you are, roll over the sole of the front foot. Bend the front knee, dip the hips, walk the blocks or props or hands back, move the block off the mat if you're using them, touch the ground, back out of your hips, bring the front knee down. We're in a modified knee down plank. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bend the elbows back and come onto your belly. Uncurl your toes, hands underneath, um, shoulders back near your chest, inhale to cobra. Point the elbows back, anchor the pubic bone and the hip points down. Elbows in, shoulders down, lift up. And exhale, release to your belly. Come all the way back to child's, press into the hands, and take a little rest here. Knees could stay hip width or they could widen. Arms extend. You could also let the palms press together to prayer and bend the elbows, forearms back. You could also be in more of a 
Coming back to your breath, back to any intention that you started with, noticing how you feel. Feeling the breath, fill the low back, the middle back, the upper back. Exhale, releasing the upper back, the middle back, the lower back. Extend the arms forward. Shift your body forward to tabletop all fours. Bring the wrists back underneath the shoulders and the knees back underneath the hips. And take a little hip wag side to side. Good. We're going to take the whole thing from the top. That whole standing flow on the other side. So bring the hips right above the knees. Curl your toes under and either walk your hands out and melt the chest so you come into puppy chin or forehead to the mat, or you have your hands just a little further forward of the shoulders, fingers spread wide, toes curled under, and hips press up and back. If you're in dog with me, take a calf press, so lift your heels up, you're on the balls of your feet. As you exhale, drop your right heel, bend your left knee, look underneath the right arm. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, switch, press the other heel down, then the opposite knee, switch the gaze underneath the arm. Inhale, up. Exhale, both your heels drop. Good. From down dog, take a nice, easy walk to the top of the mat. Same thing from puppy pose, just come up to stand, however you feel comfortable. Feet are hip width distance. You're going to shake the head. Yes. Yeah. Shake the head. No. Take more yeses than no. Say yes to what everyone would invite in. Good. Shake out every no means. And one more time. Yes. Yes, we're okay. Yes, we're healthy. Yes, we're safe. Yes, we're strong. You don't let the head hang. Hold the opposite elbow if you want. Maybe take a little rock. Pause here, maybe let the elbows come, our hands come off of the elbows, bend the knees, roll it up to stand. Take your time, head heavy, arms relaxed, at the top, big sun breath, inhale out. Exhale through prayer, right to prayer this time, just hold there. We're going to stay standing here for a moment with closed eyes to recenter, so palms together, spine long, feet relaxed. Eyes closed, standing up tall. Notice how you feel right now. How is your body? How is your breath right now? Notice the rhythm and pace and depth of your own breath. Notice the rhythm and pace and pattern of the beating of your own heart. Notice any heat that you've created within your body, any tingling or sensation or warmth or energy that you can literally feel in your body, a difference from now when we first began your practice today. Take a moment in gratitude for yourself, being thankful for your health, for your well-being for the strong, able, competent, beautiful body that you're blessed with. Let that gratitude extend beyond yourself, calling in anything that you feel particularly thankful for right now, any of the many blessings in your life, holding that dear in your heart, especially during this tumultuous time in the world. Just taking a moment, a time out, to feel thankful for what you do have. Good deep breath in. As you exhale, release your arms. Take a big sun breath, interlace your fingers, release your pointers, you're pointing up towards the sky. Stretch up and over towards the left, standing half moon or Ardha Chandrasana, maybe turn the face up to the ceiling. Inhale through center. Exhale up and over to the other side. Inhale up. 
As you exhale, release the hands behind, drop your chin, interlace your fingers. Press the fist down, squeeze the backs of the shoulders together, open the chest, lift the heart, lift the face, lift up. And then exhale, bend the knees, bend the hips, sit into chair pose, Uttakasana, so you're here. Toes are forward, heels back, and I'm sitting here in a squat, Uttakasana, standing squat. Fingers interlaced. If you don't have room to interlace, you're holding your hips like you did on the other side. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release the hands. Inhale, stand up, Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive, open palm. At the bottom, inhale, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, hands to chin, lift your hips to mat, stretch out, head away from tail. Exhale, deep fold, melt over the lips. Reverse your swan dive, and bent knees, fly up, press the ground down, press the arms above the head, lift up. And exhale, right through prayer, close the eyes. Come back to your intention. What are you creating? What are you manifesting? How do you want to feel? Take that in, deep breath. Exhale, release the arms. Take another sun breath. Inhale out and up to lift up and look up. As you exhale, open the arms. Touch your hips. You're going to walk up towards the top of the mat. So take as many steps as you need to so you have room behind you. Stand more on the right foot and send the left leg halfway back your mat. So just enough so you can be on the soles of both of your feet. And the feet are hip width distance. Toes forward, heels back. Now, let's take the back foot and turn it out ever so slightly so we miss this cue on the other side. So it doesn't have to be totally parallel. It can be teeny tiny turned out. But then you're going to square your hips. So if your hips were opening, you're going to bring that front um, right hip back and the left hip forward. And then stand up tall. Hold your hips or hold out the sit elbow or reverse prayer. You're going to stay. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, hinge to a flat back. So feel that front hip pulling back in the hip socket. Feel that back hip, hip driving forward to keep the hip square. And then take a flat back if you can. You're stretching the hamstrings. You're building strength in the legs. You're working on your balance. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, maybe take a deeper fold. Drop the head. Hold here. Couple breaths. Pausing, breathing. When you're ready. Yoga 
a prop you have nearby that you can use as a block. Just hold there. Breathe. Maybe bow the head to the heart. Good. And then come on the tips of the fingers, lengthen your spine. <clears throat> you can stay or bring one hand to the thigh, bring the other hand to the thigh, and release your fingers. Press the thigh forward, press the shoulders back, and hold. I'm going to pause there. So you can stay right where you are. This is still taking a lot of strength and balance to be here. You're stretching that back, left hip flexor, psoas. If you feel like you have your balance and you want to, release the hands and inhale them above the head like Tadasana or Mountain Pose to frame the head. Take a deep breath. And exhale, release the hands. Touch the ground of the blocks. Here's where you might want your blocks or props if you happen to have them. Stretch the hips back. Flex the front foot and straighten the front leg. Walk your hands back. Come high in your fingertips or behind your blocks or couch pillows or whatever you're using. Lengthen your spine there. And then exhale, deepen your fold over your front leg. Take a deep breath. Nerd. 
nurtured, cared for, feeling safe, comfortable, peaceful, and well. from child, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press into the hands, roll up, or lengthen up just on your heels, squeeze the thighs back together, and then just come to seat and send the hips over to the side, swing the legs around. Let's scooch up to the top of the mat. We're going to make our way onto the mat together, and then we'll just take a, maybe a little spinal twist before we come to rest. So lift up, going to pop, and exhale, slowly lower, tuck the tail, sweep the belly from all the way down. When you get down, take a nice big stretch, lengthen the legs forward, stretch the arms behind you, big stretch from fingers to toes, hug the knees into the belly, roll the knees or hold the shins or wrap the arms around the legs and just rock side to side.
dismissing away whatever you don't need. Reaching any tension in the body, the mind, the heart, the spirit. And then head back for center. Roll back onto your spine. Bring your foot back to the ground. Scooch the hips back underneath the shoulders. And then take another big stretch. And then take just a moment to move or not move in any way you want. So you can stretch out. You can hug in. You can take any last postures or movement or stretches that you want that your body needs. And then I'm going to start to guide you into Shavasana. So if it's new or less familiar, you might want to follow along. If you know where you're headed, you can come in whenever you're ready. But in Shavasana, our final pose, we're going to be lying on our backs. So stretch the legs forward. Let the legs be slightly greater than hip width. Let the arms come slightly away from the body. Allow the backs of the hands to touch the ground and the palms open. Lengthen your spine. And let your whole body just kind of be laid out in this most optimal place of alignment. So feel a long plumb line from the very crown of the head, the top of the head, down the back of the skull, down the neck, down the upper back, through the middle back, through the lower back, out the tailbone towards the feet. Arms slightly away from the body, about 45 degrees. Palms open to the ceiling in a gesture of receiving, of taking in whatever you need. Also allowing the heart to be open by externally rotating the arms, letting the heart and chest be free and wide open, full of grace and peace and love and compassion for yourself and for all those in the world that need it most, especially right now, radiating out love and peace, compassion, positive vibration, positive healing energy to the Let your body relax. Let your breath soften. Feel the forehead relax, the face, the eyes, the jaw. Heart and chest and collarbone. Upper arm.
studio or for teachers. Again, that's supportuidf.com. Um, it's our honor and pleasure to be on this virtual journey with you, and I look forward to um, practicing together again soon. So re reach out anytime. I'd love to hear your feedback, um, your thoughts, and just let me know how you're doing. Okay? So have a great day, and we'll connect really soon. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thanks, Diane. Thanks, Sarah. Good to see you guys. See you soon.